Hey guys, Marsing in here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. So we finally have the easy A for the AGL Super Saiyan to Blue Gogeta in the game. Uh, I've got him fully easy A'd. We're trying him out here on one of his 200% leader skill teams uh, with the movie heroes uh, support memory as well. So he can just absolutely go crazy. Um, I thought it'd be good to do the Janemba stage because it kind of has the Janemba versus Gogeta kind of vibes. Plus, I did want to bring God Goku because he's a really good uh, link partner for this Gogeta. And obviously, you know, we have to be fighting a movie boss or a pure Saiyan. A lot of the times I like to do these initial showcases in the Shadow Dragons Red Zone stage. But... I always forget and bring God Goku anyway, and then he gets absolutely destroyed. So I thought we'd jump in and do the Janemba one. I don't think I've done the Janemba stage for quite a while. So this Gogeta post EZA, he's got 170 for Movie Heroes and Fusion, full 170 lead and 3 key, very good. His super attack is greatly raise attack and raise defense for one turn, does immense damage to the enemy. And then he gets key 2, attack and defense 140, additional attack and defense 50% when attacking. So it is attacking and not super attacking, so that's good, because it means even if he's sealed, he still does it. Uh, attacks effective against all types, and then a 50% chance to dodge. Transforms when conditions are met, which has now been amended to turn 4. So, what you would do a lot of the time in very difficult content, just look at his defense here, 176. In very difficult content, you would probably, if you get him on turn 1, um, just float him off on turn 1, and then when he comes back on turn 4, he's going to have, he's going to transform straight away. Because um, once he transforms, he is obviously considerably better. Um, so we'll see how well he does here. I want to keep him on rotation just so we do get to see, like, two turns of the, uh, the Gogeta. But, because remember, he's super effective against all types, so that's going to be good for doing damage against uh, Janemba here. We only share, I think it's only fierce battle with Piccolo though, so links wise is obviously not a great rotation for him. Always unfortunate when you start out with uh, both the leaders on the rotation and it's this team where the leader just doesn't really work well with Gogeta anyway. So the 200% leads that he's on is Piccolo's and Gohan's and then he's on Carnival Goku, because Carnival Goku is the full 200% for, um, whatchamacallit, uh, powerful comeback, which um, this Gogeta is also on. So, the only problem is, powerful comeback is a bit of a weird team. Like, it's a strong category with good units in it, but just only being able to pick from powerful comeback... I don't really like it that much as a team. And like the reason why I didn't use it for this showcase is until Global gets the easy A's for like the Super Saiyan and Super Saiyan 2 Bardocks, that I find the category doesn't really have a lot of good like support units. Whereas at least on this team, like we're running PyCon, we're running Pan, um, even like the STR Piccolo, even though we're just running him as the rotation partner for um, one of the other Piccolos, he's obviously really good. So that works out quite nicely. Um, and then yeah, God Goku, once uh, blue, once Gogeta transforms into blue Gogeta, he shares six links with God Goku. So basically any team where you can run the two of them together and you're fighting a movie boss or pure Saiyan enemy, that is going to be like the best rotation basically. So let's go ahead and we'll get minimal key with you. You're going to get two key when you get hit, so he's going to do the 12 key super anyway. Um... Another super great and underrated thing about Picon, uh, Piccolo is getting hit and giving everybody else 2 key. Because it means I can, if I wanted to, I guess I don't need the HP. But if I needed the HP from the same type orbs, I could grab these for Gogeta. And then Piccolo is going to push him up to uh, having the super. And then I could grab all the int orbs for Pan. But since it doesn't really matter um, what my HP is. So yeah, we're at 199k with the support from Pan. Remember, we're only getting the 30% support from her because she gives the extra 20% to Bond of Master and Disciple and Bond of Parent and Child, becoming a 50% support unit. But Gogeta is not on either of those categories. So we'll see what he does here with that little bit of extra attack support. Yeah, 6.5 million. I mean, considering, like I said, if you get him on turn one, float him off and he transforms on turn four. If you get him on turn two, he's just going to transform on his next appearance anyway. Considering the fact that you're not going to have to really use the actual Super Saiyan form all that much, 
getting a 6.5 that is effective against all types is still pretty good. And then obviously tanked the normal attack for uh, double digit damage. So pretty good. And we're going to get to see him transform on the next turn, which will then be perfect timing because he will actually then be linked up with uh, God Goku. So uh, can I get Pycon's passive here? I don't think there's any way I can make three orbs come together. Because if I do this, the green orb comes down in its place. So... Because I don't need to worry about supering, because Piccolo getting hit means that the others are going to super. But I just wanted to get Pycon's support passive. Not that it really matters too much. We should finish him off this turn. Even though this Piccolo, I guess, is not that built up. Because um, once you start getting some build-up on this Piccolo, he can hit way harder than 5.5 on his 12-key super. Especially considering we're getting the support from the STR Piccolo. So yeah, the fact that he t even took that much damage from a super... Just kind of shows how not built up <laughs> that friend Piccolo is. But either way, I think we should finish him off this turn, right? Well, maybe not actually now, because Pycon. Pycon's not going to crit. Pycon didn't get any rainbow orbs, so he's not going to dodge. I wonder how much damage he's actually going to take here now. Hmm. It'll probably be quite a lot, but we shouldn't die. How much are you taking? 195k. Okay. Well... <laughs> That's what happens when you're just running a showcase and not caring about the other rotation, though, so I'm, I'm fine with that. All right, so we got six links active, everything except for Fused Fighter. Uh, we have 193k defense. Now, once we've transformed, we greatly raise attack and defense for four turns, so we can get quite a few stacks off of this. Uh, we also get three key 150. We still get the 50% when attacking. We get guaranteed crits. We've got a 70% chance to dodge, and then he gets 2 key and 50% extra attack for 4 turns after evading an attack. So, even though it could be a bit risky, I'm going to put him in slot 1, and hopefully he's going to dodge this 1 attack, because then that's going to give him that extra buff. And then we're going to get to see a pretty decent attack stat here with no support. So there you go, there's the dodge. <laughs> okay, I, was, I wasn't expecting, I was thinking like... 9, maybe 10. This is without support, and he can stack for a couple of turns. So his next couple of super attacks are going to hit harder than that. And that was uh, that was his turn 1 super, essentially. Turn 1 as Blue Gogeta with no support. That's, uh, that's pretty good. <laughs> Alright, so let's, again, let's not 18 key super with you. And then we will... You're going to get hit, so you give... T I love... Just, I love this whole, like, him getting hit for, gives everyone two key. Because, like, here, I would have to do this or this... Well, this, to get a super attack with Piccolo. But I know he's going to get two extra key. So I can go ahead and grab a same type orb and get that little bit of extra HP. It's only a very minimal amount, but a little bit of extra HP whilst also pushing the Dokon gauge up a little bit. Like, absolutely perfect. So... Piccolo with all this support, how much does he take? 294. I guess the one downside to him losing his guard is that int bosses are still going to hit him pretty hard. Because fully built up with the damage reduction that he has, he's able to tank in slot 1 quite effectively. But I guess a type disadvantage red zone boss super is always going to be the hardest hitting thing for him. But I mean, the fact that he still only took 200k, and you can see the symbols coming up still while he gets hit so he's not fully built up either and he only took 200k i will i will absolutely take that as a uh, as a good turn for him so do we have oh we have pycon on the next turn so i've got to make sure that i get pycon's um support passive and then yeah we're going to be looking very very spicy on this next turn because He's not going to put out a lower attack stat than he did last turn. So he did an 11 million attack stat on his first turn after transforming. Um, now we're going to have the Pycon support. Um, he's going to be looking pretty good. Um, now, do I want to show out and put him in slot 1 and see if he can get all of these dodges? Like the safe play if I was trying to win is we just do this, right? Um... Which, I mean, I guess I should do. It's a showcase for him, so I want to put him in slot one. But then if he doesn't dodge and dies, I mean, it's a realistic showcase of him in an event, I suppose. 
but it would also be pretty disappointing. I mean, he has 290k defense, so it's not really enough to be tanking these hits like in an insane fashion, but the dodge backup is what makes it so good, right? So I guess when we do grab... Oh, we could just Ghost Usher, actually. Mm, I really want to see him dodge, though, but... Yeah, I left him in slot one for that reason, so I guess let's go ahead and do that. Although I suppose if Pycon doesn't dodge, we then get killed. So actually, you know what? Screw it. After all that, I'm just going to use Pycon's Ghost Usher. Because Pycon has a 50% chance to dodge as long as you get the Rainbow Orbs. So the problem is if he doesn't dodge, he will get absolutely destroyed by Janemba at the end. So yeah, we're going to grab the orbs here. Okay, Gogeta, what have you got for me? 13.8 and he can still get more stacks as well so can we get the additional super mine is built for full additional come on 13.8 uh, million that is a guaranteed crit whilst then being backed up by having 70 percent chance to dodge now that is uh that is pretty good <laughs> all right so we're doing uh we're looking pretty good here um, Janemba's going to transform now into the rage mode and become physical. So we've got our double Pico uh, Piccolo rotation. Triple Piccolo rotation. I just meant double as in the tech one. But yeah, see the guest has 836k defense whilst having 20% damage reduction. It's pretty good. Pretty good. So you're going to get extra key so we can do this. And then as much as I would like to heal... Actually, yeah, after an 80, after a 12 key super, he tanks fine. I will just get one. Because his defense is so high, one tech orb is more than enough. So, well, we're going to see him tank another slot one super. But when it's not type disadvantage, 144k. And then a 15 million attack stat, which gets dodged. But, <laughs> I mean, that shows you how good, like, Pycon is doing everything that he does. Oh, sorry, Piccolo. Man, the fact that they both start with P.I. names and are both, like, green aliens. How many times have I said Piccolo instead of Pycon and vice versa in this video? They're out to get me, I tell you. But, but yeah, Gogeta on this next turn is going to have the support from Pan, which means, again, he should be putting out a higher attack stat than he did on the previous turn. And if I pick up enough same type orbs, he's going to Dokon attack as well. So... He's going to doke on attack and just kill Janemba here. Like, straight up. He only has one attack that he has to dodge. If it's a super, we die. Um, well, actually, does he have to dodge? Did his buff run out from his passive? He might have to dodge, actually, in order to not... Um, to get that extra attack. But, yeah, this is going to be big damage with a crit as well. We got the dodge, so even if he didn't have the buff, he does now. Um... <laughs> And we're going to hit all of the nodes as well, hopefully. All right, well, I guess this is GG, Janemba. Let's see what we're... 13.89, uh, yeah. So he was at max stats on the last turn then with Pycon because it's the same attack stat. So 14 million attack is his peak when he's with a 30% support unit linked with God Goku. Guaranteed crit with the Dokon attack multiplier. 17 million damage. Except, of course, now... Oh, you have got to be kidding me. He dodged God Goku. He's going to kill Pan, isn't he? <laughs> I mean, if that happens, I'm leaving it in the video. But that is kind of a letdown. AGL Gogeta. Mine is built for full additional. And I don't think he double supered once in this entire video. She's not... Oh, I was about to say. That dodge cutting came up so late. I thought she was not going to dodge. <laughs> 100k. All right. Well, she dodged most of the hits. We'll let her off. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's all she wrote for our boy Janemba. We're not going to get another turn with uh, Gogeta now. But, yeah, very, very impressive. People calling him the new best Easy ATUR. I mean, I can see it, right? Like, the arguments for Cooler is that he builds up his defense. He obviously very quickly has much higher defense than Gogeta. But, unfortunately, in the current meta with, like, the hardest red zone bosses... Just having a really high raw defense stat, but without having, like, dodge or damage reduction or something to back it up. Like, you can still just get absolutely destroyed. Like, like Easy A STR Cooler will get killed by um, 
Red Zone Broly super attack. Although, actually, that's a bad example because Gogeta can't dodge Red Zone Broly. So I'm going to do a Red Zone Broly video with him just to see how well he actually does. But yeah, that is that is pretty crazy. Um, I I'm pretty happy with uh, his easy A, to say the least. I think he probably is number one, if not just tied with Cooler because they do different things, I guess. Cooler is supporting, has much higher raw defense, and then Gogeta is just putting out insane attack stats with guaranteed crit and dodging as well. So he's absolutely crazy. Let me know what you guys think of AGL Gogeta's Easy A down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.